comes up, throws on the run, has Eckler on the near sideline. Eckler breaks the tackle through the pylon. Yoda brothers, what's up? It's the director. Chargers fans, I ain't gonna lie, man. This one snuck up on me. This was actually the season finale of Hard Knocks Los Angeles. A little bit bittersweet, man. Like, I love Hard Knocks, dude. This is one of my favorite shows. You know, when Hard Knocks comes around, it means that football is here, man. Training camp has started. Things are in motion. And to have the Chargers on Hard Knocks this season was truly special, even if we did have to share it with the Rams. It was a good year, man. It was a good, it was an awesome season of Hard Knocks, even if it was a little bit shorter. See, our episode five of this season is what we're going to be reviewing today. As always, I do have my notes. And this one, again, man, I think just like being the season finale, it's a little bit bittersweet going into this episode knowing... <laughs> I posted this on Twitter, dudes. I was like, yay, Hard Knocks! Oh my god, we're about to see Derwin get hurt. And I, I that was, it, was... it was awful. Guys, before we get started uh, on our review of... Or episode 5 of Los Angeles uh, Hard Knocks. Hit us up with a like and sub if you do enjoy this content. The small amount of time you guys take to hit the like, sub, and bell notification helps me out a lot. Let's get into this video. Lights. Camera. Action. They definitely did not waste any time this week in teasing that cuts were happening. <laughs> cuts are happening this video and or this episode, and it's it's going to be brutal. But uh, we'll circle back around to that. But just you know, it's it's last episode. You know that's going to happen. We're going to see who he was making the final roster, who's going to be coming back in the practice squad. Uh, a couple of things that I did note here at the very beginning of the episode, they did a little a little spot on uh, Andrew Whitworth who is honestly one of my favorite offensive linemen in the league. The guy has been in the league for like a trillion years, and he's still playing at a super high level, so huge respect. I gotta say this too before we continue on. This is a Chargers channel, so yeah, I'm gonna be covering mainly the Chargers portions of Hard Knocks. At the same time, I, I don't hate the Rams, guys. <laughs> There's some people who think that, oh, the director doesn't like the Rams. You know, he doesn't talk about them in Hard Knocks. No, this is just a Chargers channel. Uh, you know, actually, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of a lot of players on your guys' team, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit about them in this video as well. Um, there was a quick comment, you know, blink and you'll miss it, uh, during one of our practices. I think Melvin Ingram said something about having great depth this year. He says, you're never going to be tired out there. We have so many great depth pieces. So the rotation is going to help the Chargers out quite a bit because we have so many quality pieces, especially on defense, that can roll in and out, keep our good players fresh and, you know, uh, available for important downs and stuff like that. So that's something that you, like, when you're watching a show like this, you sit back and you go, wow, yeah, man, we really do have crazy good depth, especially at linebacker this year, defensive end, you know, pretty much everything on defense, man. We have such good depth that uh, rotating our guys in and out, keeping them fresh, seems to be kind of the move, what they were wanting to do this offseason in uh, making their acquisitions and free agent signings, even uh, in the draft as well. So very good job by uh, the front office in those regards. That when I sat back and really analyzed it, I was like, wow, we really do have probably some of the best depth that we've had in a long, long time. Um, then we circled around to the difficult part of this episode, man. They, they showed us a freaking highlight reel of why Derwin James is so amazing and why he is so pivotal to our defense, our scheme, our energy, the leadership, the playmaking, and then he got hurt. That that was so tough to watch, man. Non-contact injury. I've, I hadn't seen footage of the actual injury yet, um, and I got to see it for the first time today on Hard Knocks, and uh, he, obviously he tore his meniscus, ended up going under surgery. He's going to miss the whole season, but to see that moment happen was powerful because you could tell everybody on the team was like, oh my God, is it... Is it a cramp? Tell me it's a cramp. God, no, please, no. Literally everybody on that field was feeling the same emotions you and I were feeling as, as fans of the Chargers, but happening in real time. It was devastating. It, it was, it, they looked like they just witnessed, you know, somebody get ran over by a car or something, dudes. It was, it was crazy. It was, it was, it was devastating, devastating. And we got to see Derwin hanging his head in shame, you know, not in shame, but in disappointment. You know, this has happened again. He's such a huge part of this defense going into the tent. It sucked, man. That sucked. That sucked hard. But at the same time, that comment that Melvin Ingram made about our depth, it, it gave me hope that we're going to be all right. 
We're going to be all right in the absence of Derwin James. Yes, he's such a huge part of this defense, but the depth that we had created over this offseason should help us face this challenge head on. Desmond King can play up there. I think Janoris Jenkins is going to be getting a lot of you know looks up there as well. Nasir Adderley, I think, was officially announced as the starting uh, free safety. So I don't know, man. We'll be all right. Losing Derwin is, is going to be hard, and it, it's going to suck. I really, really, really want to watch Derwin play football more than anything. You know, the wins, the losses, stuff like that, it comes with the game, but I wanted to watch him play. But we'll be all right because of our depth. Um, next thing we had was... Um, uh, oh, some of the guys trying to make the team. Uh, Braden Fayoko worked really, really hard. There was another uh, free agent or rookie uh, running back that was trying to make it as well. They kind of followed their storyline in this episode. It was quite interesting to watch. Um, ultimately, they both did not make the 53-man roster, but they did make the practice squad, which was pretty cool. I think uh, Fayoko in particular might actually have a chance to make this roster at some point uh depending on how our guys in right now what do we have damian square we got uh, jerry tillery we got justin jones i mean all those guys are really good and obviously linval joseph he's like a lock number one but uh, if at any point we do need another guy uh Fayoko actually looked really really good man like in in some instances he was really solid against the run what anthony lynn said was he needed a little bit more work on his pass rush and that's why he didn't make the 53 but uh, at the same time having a guy like that on your practice squad he brings a really good energy you know that that haka energy that we saw last week um to see that around the guys during practice i think is really important um i, f I failed to mention that the injury did happen during full speed reps in practice failed to mention that um other things i did notice during the practice though why was melvin ingram out there playing man coverage <laughs> did you guys you guys notice that wide receivers going out deep i think it was on a on an out route and then there goes or in a wheel route and there goes melvin ingram chasing him to the end zone <laughs> it's like what are they doing maybe playing a little linebacker with uh, uh uh ingram this week as well ingram also accidentally hit justin uh herbert uh with his helmet on his arm did you guys see that that's his big no-no Big note, he's all concerned. He's like, bro, bro, you okay, bro? You okay, bro? Hope I didn't hurt you, man. That, that's a huge no-no in camp. Um, Hoko looked decent. Yes, he did. Cuts were brutal again. Yes. Okay, so I will mention a little bit about the the Rams. The, those Rams cuts were brutal. I actually liked the players that they uh, that they ended up having to cut. I, I liked them. Other than that Johnson guy that ended up going to Carolina. Uh, JJ. Uh, the safety, he very humble kid. Uh, and then there was this other guy, number 21. He had the laughs. He was a good guy as well. So it was good to see them bring him back to the practice squad for the Rams. Uh, the scrimmage for the Rams looked really cool in this episode too. Maybe a little bit too long in this episode. There was a lot of, you know, loose ends that they had to tie in this episode. And that maybe took a little bit too much of the time, but it wasn't bad. It was cool. It was cool to watch. Um, Gus Bradley's a good coach. He was shocked. <laughs> he was shocked that, that Derwin had already had surgery. Um, the last couple of things in here before we wrap this video up, guys. Tyrod Taylor got a very short segment in this episode. Again, you blink, you'll miss it. But I feel like this is such an important segment for Chargers fans. Tyrod Taylor is a leader. Tyrod Taylor has the mentality of a very strong leader. The man's the first one in the weight room. 5.20 a.m. Last one to leave. Huge presence in the locker room. He, he stands up for what he believes in. He's taking the the weight on his shoulders of being a leader very, very well. And on that front, forget the football stuff for a second. On that front, I believe in Tyrod Taylor. I think he's a hell of a human being. He's a hell of a leader. And if he can work with the pieces that we put around him as our starting quarterback with the Los Angeles Chargers, he may see some success. The best success he's ever seen in his career. We got to see a lot of him running around in practice as well. Ingram mentioned something like, you know, I was over here and I turn around and, and Tyrod's on the other side of the field, you know, taking it down. Like he's, he's, we're going to run it a lot with our quarterback this year. I think Tyrod's going to take off on the ground. We're going to implement that in our scheme. Uh, Fayoko didn't make, uh, but he does make the practice. Yes. And then uh, I love the last little spiel at the end of the episode with uh, Braden's family. Good people. Very proud. Very, very proud for him to make the team. At least the, the practice squad. And uh, I, I'm hopeful for a lot of these guys, man. I really am. I'm very, very uh, excited to see what happens in this Chargers season. I think this is going to be one of the craziest seasons I've ever seen as a Chargers fan. All the changes, no more Phillip Rivers, moving schemes, totally new looking offense, defense. It's going to be wild. But I think it's going to be one worth remembering, honestly. With everything that happened this year, it's going to be a footprint in time 
of when I was a Chargers fan, what was happening in the world and how our team did, despite all of that. Crazy. So being this, uh, the episode or the season finale of Hard Knocks, what can you expect from my channel going forward with the Chargers? Very simple, guys. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I, I, I try to get Chargers videos out every other day, keeping things fresh. You know, I'm, I think I'm a Madden YouTuber first and foremost. That's where my sponsors and stuff are at. Really enjoyed as well. Chargers are a huge passion of mine, so I'm not going anywhere. You guys are going to continue to see Chargers videos from me. Uh, quick sneak peek. I do want to do pre-game and post-game videos. I think very simple, right? You guys tune in on Saturdays. Uh, what does the director think? How are we gonna do against the Bengals, you know, on Sunday? Boom, I'm gonna show you guys exactly and break down all the things I think about's gonna happen in the game. Show you guys the weaknesses, our, our strengths and, and stuff like that, just to kind of get us hyped for Sundays. And then Mondays, we're either gonna pop a cold one and celebrate together, or I'll, I'll be that comforting presence <laughs> to get us to week two. All right, guys? Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, series for uh, uh, Hard Knocks Los Angeles. I think it's been a lot of fun. Huge honor to have a platform to talk to you guys about this. Again, being a Chargers fan with no Chargers fans around, it's been an awesome outlet to be able to talk to you guys, especially in a year that we do get Hard Knocks finally. Uh, guys, again, thank you so much for joining me. Hit that like and sub button on your way out. We'll see you next time. As always, bolt up and stay frosty.